can't believe it's the end of summer already. I can't believe it's been so long since I filmed a video for you guys. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys a little update. Um, I have reached my two year dread anniversary and uh, I took a summer off from filming. Um, just went and kind of lived in the moment and really, really enjoyed myself doing a, a lot of cool stuff. So thank you for allowing me the time off to do that. But I am back with all sorts of beautiful updates. Well, I guess first I'll just give you kind of an update on my hair. I did a few new things to it over the summer. Um, first, I bleached them. Uh, and they were this beautiful sun-kissed blonde color on the tips. And then later in the summer, I went ahead and started putting different colored uh, temporary dye in there. I've been using the Lime Prime uh, vegan hair dye. And I did film some of that, so there is an update coming. I have done another deep cleanse um, since then though <laughs> just to, to kind of give them a little bit more body it lightens them up really uh, takes out a lot of that grime um, that weighs them down and I also um, brushed out my tips and that was really cool too because I don't know I, I, I like the blunted ends look on some people but I didn't like it on myself and so I, I worked really hard just trying to be gentle with my hair and getting the tips loose and my curls came back on the ends, which I love. That's super fun. Um, you know, I still have, as always, my little curly guys underneath here that I've just been kind of leaving loose. Um, I don't know how curly they are at the moment, but sometimes they're very springy and fun. Um, Speaking of springy and fun, I really don't think these loops and bumps are going anywhere. <laughs> my, my dreadlocks are not straight and cylindrical like some are um, at the two year point. I kind of like the personality of the, the loops and bumps anyways though, so um, and maybe it's just because I have curly hair that it loops and bumps so much. I'm not sure. But that's the beautiful thing is everybody's dreadlocks are different. <laughs> Sometimes the wind blows so cold that it knocks me right down That same wind will blow through and you won't feel nothing at all Well, we may never know Maybe this is how it all spins round Well, we may never know Cause what goes up, it must come down must come down You act like the end of the world is just moments away But I feel like I just now woke up to a brand new day But are we really all that different? We may not see eye to eye Are we really all that different? What goes up, it must come down Must come down So I started my dread journey by backcombing them in. Um, when I had sectioned them originally, it wasn't just regular square sections. I would grab a curl, basically, and uh, that would become a section. Because I figured my hair would kind of naturally want to group like that. Um, so uh, when I first brushed them in, uh, they, I had 53, and I now have a few Congos and a few new babies, but when I just counted recently, I have 59. Um, they finally started to settle in to uh, just letting them be. I know I've been uh, aiming for that for a while, and but over two years and all the terrible stuff that I've done to them over that time, uh, they are doing well. They are strong. I haven't had any weak points or worried about any breakage. Um, they seem strong and healthy and I'm happy. As far as what I've been up to this summer, I have been doing a lot of camping, a lot of hanging out with my family and uh, practicing fire hooping. Um, I 
had my first burn earlier this summer and then at Burning Man got to light it almost every night that I was there. And I like it, it feels good. And so I guess that's a, kind of my main thing this summer is I did a, a lot of hooping, a lot of practicing, a lot of playing with fire and then going to Burning Man and celebrating my man in my 10 years of being married and that was pretty freaking special. Uh, we had a lot of romantic opportunities this summer. Yeah, there will be many, many more adventures ahead and thank you for joining me on them in the beautiful Eastern Sierra, playing with tutus, hula hoops, fire, and the journey of life expressed through dreadlocks in this particular channel. Okay. So I hope you all are doing well. Say hi to me in the comments and I'll be talking to you again real soon. Bye. But don't let them fool you and twist it into some kind of game. With winners and losers who draw sides and cast off the blame. What if we all took the time to reach out and stand on common ground? What if we all took the time? Cause what goes up yet must come down, must come down.